What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. But as you can see today, no beat on the face. I'm going to be testing out a new foundation today. The, <laughs> the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear liquid foundation. So I've actually been getting so many requests to review this foundation. A lot of people have been asking what my thoughts have been on it and I haven't ever tried it yet so I figured might as well do a first impressions demo and kind of come back in a couple of hours and see what we thought of the Urban Decay foundation. So I'm starting off with a blank face. I have nothing on my face other than moisturizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my normal average routine that I would do if I was doing a face. So I'm gonna start with primer. I'm gonna take the Make It Forever Smoothing Primer. I put way too much. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, you're gonna feel that one. This is a great primer for me because I am more on the oily side and this really does help smooth out my pores, makes them look smaller, as well as keep me less oily. Just kind of pressing it in. My face feels like a dolphin's vagina. Now I'm going to go on straight away with the foundation. I'm going to go half of the face I'm going to put on with a beauty blender and the other half I'm going to go on with a stippling brush. I just think that's going to help differentiate between people that use beauty blenders and people that use um, brushes. I'm going to take a pump of this. Can you see that? I, I can see already that it is a thicker consistency. It's not moussey but it is definitely thick. It's not runny whatsoever. It's like there. And it ain't going nowhere. So it's a thicker consistency is what I'm trying to say. This is in the shade, I have the shade 3.0. I know they have a different like numbering system. I think the 0.5s are like pink, the 0.25s are neutral, and the like 0.0s are yellow, more of a yellow tone. I wish I had a 0.25 because I don't think this is actually going to match my color of my face. But we're going to kind of go with it just so I can review this foundation because I just don't have the other color. <laughs> so I'm going to use a beauty blender for half the face. Ooh, that's thick. Okay, let's just see how it applies. I definitely think this color is a little bit too light for me. But the coverage is there. It is definitely a more fuller coverage for sure. Like that. Not patchy whatsoever. It looks really, 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 really nice actually. I'm just going to pat that in about half of my face. I'm going to look so pale after this. I'm going to have to bronze up for fucking days. Woo! Actually, this is probably a color that would actually match my neck. But you guys know I like to be more tan. It just looks like it's not my color because in my eyes it's not. So we're going to continue to pat it on over the ears. Okay, so right away I noticed that it goes on very lightweight. It's definitely not heavy feeling. I don't feel like it's heavy on the face whatsoever, which is pretty nice. I don't like it when it feels too, too, too heavy on the face. Let me look closely to see what it looks like up close. The finish, I would say, is definitely more of a natural matte finish. I would not say it's luminous whatsoever. It's definitely more on the matte side, but it's not completely flat. I've had much more mattifying foundations in the past, so this is definitely at, not as matte as I'm used to. Let's go ahead and put a little bit more on top of my cheeks just to see how it builds and see how it looks. Definitely have to be careful with the layering because I feel if you layer another layer on top it will definitely look pretty heavy and pretty cakey. One layer looks pretty good but two it's looking pretty fucking masky if you if you tell me. Okay cool so we have one side of the face done the coverage is beautiful it's a nice medium to full coverage. I would definitely say it's more on the full side and let's see is it picking up on my dry patches? I would say if you are more on the dry side, this might pick up on your dry patches a little bit because the finish is more so on the mattifying side. Go and try it on with a brush on the opposite side. So going on, I'm pretty happy with it first off. It looks really beautiful. It looks nice full coverage. But now I'm going to take this foundation on a Morphe E6 and just kind of put it on my face and buff in the coverage with a brush. So there. Oh my sweet lord. So with the brush, you will get a lot more product down. It definitely will be more of a fuller coverage and you use less product if you're using it with a brush. It doesn't soak up nearly as much. So I am noticing a little bit on my nose. I feel like the foundation is kind of bunching up in my pores and it's it's kind of emphasizing the pores on my nose, which kind of annoys me. I don't really like that. I think that looks I think that just is not a cute thing whatsoever. So I'm just gonna take the beauty blender with nothing else on it and I'm just gonna kind of press over it to kind of flatten it out. Whenever I go in with a brush, I always go over it with a beauty blender anyway, just cause I wanna give it more of an airbrush finish and that's kind of what we're doing. So right now we're gonna do that. And going on with the brush gives you more coverage but it also gives you more of a textured appearance which is kind of annoying. So that is it with the application. The application is Nice, it's nice and full coverage. Okay, so first impression. 
The coverage is very much there. It's a nice full coverage appearance, especially when you're, when you're using it with a brush. The coverage is freaking there. It's really, really nice. If you are more on the dry side, I think it will pick up on your dry patches because it is definitely more of a mattifying foundation for sure. I think it does kind of pick up on my little pores on my nose, but I think I can kind of use a powder puff and powder will kind of help conceal it a little bit. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go and do the rest of my face. I'm going to do some concealer and whatnot, and I'm going to come back in a couple hours. So I'm going to go into conceal now. Taking my go-to right now, my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to put that underneath the eyes just to see how everything, how it blends together with the foundation and see if it works nicely. On the T-zone. Blending out over the foundation seamlessly. There's no... It's not hard to blend out over this foundation whatsoever. It's not making it weird at all, which is really, really nice. Now let's see how this foundation looks after you set it with some powder. So I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent powder and a Morphe E41. And I'm gonna press this all over the face to see how it sets, see how it picks up. How does it look when you set it with some powder? Cool, so now that it's set, let's go and see what we think up close. I think it honestly looks pretty fucking flawless. And I think that's actually the powder though. The powder is making it look amazing. But slightly, I do think that it is emphasizing my texture in my drier areas, which kind of annoys me, especially around the perimeters of my face, which I am more dry on. I'm oiling the T-zone. Okay, so first impressions, I like it. I don't love it. I'm not obsessed, but I do think that it is really, really, really nice. There's just a couple hiccups in the foundation that I don't really like personally, but I think it could be my skin type. So if you are definitely more on the oily side, I think you guys will really, really, really like it. So now that we have the powder down, let's go ahead and see how it looks with bronzer and with blush and things like that. So let's see how it takes other products and see if it works out in our favor or not. First, let's powder up this neck because mama's looking a little pasty. Now let's see how the foundation takes some bronzer. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs. Tantric bronzer, my favorite bronzer on Morphe E2. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how it's taking it. Nice! There's no patchiness. It's taking it pretty, pretty well. Doesn't look odd. Picks up really, really nicely. There's no patchiness. The foundation is not making it look patchy whatsoever, which is really, really good. Now let's see how it looks up here, where I'm a little more sweaty. <laughs> but that's my fault, not the foundation's fault. It's funny how much darker the bronzer looks on me when I use a very much lighter foundation. It's pretty fucking funny, actually. But the bronzer is going on very, very nicely, very seamlessly. The foundation isn't picking up on the bronzer whatsoever, which is really nice. It's not making it look patchy at all, which I approve of. Manny, I'm way approved right now. Are we looking snatched? We sure are. <laughs> okay, so now it's going with some blush. So for blush, I'm going to go in with a peachy blush. I'm going to take the Jouer Blush in Peach Bouquet. These blushes are so nice. They're very, very pigmented. And so pretty. Ugh. Stop. I just became a Jouer affiliate, so I'm kind of excited because I, I only really start affiliating myself with brands if I really do love the brand, and I think the brand is really nice, and I think they deserve more recognition. So Jouer is a brand I think definitely deserves more recognition. I think they're so awesome, and their products are absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Like, the products are stunning. Packaging. The packaging. That's the only thing that I'm, like, not gung-ho on with the brand, but everything else, they fucking slay, dude. They fucking slay. You can use my code MANNYMUA on Jouer products and you're going to save 15% off. 15! That's a lot! Peach Bouquet is literally looking stunning on me. Mm. Let me do a little bit of cooking underneath the bronzer. Just a little bit. Just a little bitty cocker moment, por favor. Mm-hmm. Me encanta. Okay, okay. Everything is looking snatched. I like it so far. What should we highlight with? Hmm. I want to go in with definitely more of a golden one because I, I feel like my look, I'm going to do eye look, an eye look later on. And I want to do more yellow, so I want to keep it on the yellow theme. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Sleek Solstice Palette. I'm so excited because Sleek just posted on Twitter recently that they are available in the US now, so that's really, really exciting. So I'm going to go in with a Morphe M M510. I'm just highlight using that nice, really pretty peach shade. Amazing, so the face is basically done. I'm gonna go ahead and wait a couple hours now and I will come back very, very soon to let you guys know how it's looking. After a couple hours right now, it's looking really nice. It's setting into the skin very nicely. So, first impression, I was kinda like, oh, I didn't know how I felt about it 
in the beginning, but it's definitely getting a little bit better as my face is starting to like accept the product. So I'll be right back and I'll let you know how everything goes. <laughs> Okay guys, so it has been a good five hours since I first applied the foundation. Usually if I'm going out to an event, I'll be wearing it for a good like five hours unless I'm like starting in the beginning of the day at like 10 a.m. and I'm like getting back till two. That's an exception. But I must say that this foundation is really, really holding up quite well. There's no like feigning in the foundation whatsoever. There's no like parts of the face that's showing like just my skin and my bronzer and blush are still showing, my highlighter is still showing, it didn't eat it up. So I definitely think that this foundation is pretty freaking sweet, man. It's definitely approved by me so far. Sadly, I can't wear it for any longer because I have to go. <laughs> I would definitely say that this foundation is definitely a hit. I'm not gonna say it's a miss. There's parts of the foundation that I wish that were a little bit better, like parts like picking up on my drier patches. I don't like that, that kind of gets on my nerves. But the foundation does look absolutely beautiful, especially now that it's like set into my face and settled in. I feel like it looks absolutely beautiful. It looks porcelain on camera and it looks porcelain in person as well. So I think it looks really, really nice as my face oils and face like shit just starts to mesh with the foundation, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely think that the foundation is absolutely beautiful. So if you guys are interested, especially if you are more on the oily, normal combo side, I would definitely check out the Urban Decay All Nighter. Again, this video is not sponsored, by the way. Let me just say that. This video is not sponsored. I wish it was. Urban Decay, if you ever want to. I'm here, homie. I am fucking here. But definitely, I would say that this foundation has its major perks. Has a couple minuses, but perks more. I definitely would check out the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Foundation. It freaking is staying on quite well. Five to six hours later, it hasn't budged a fucking at all. And it's still... Is looking quite flawless. So I would definitely say that this is Manny Amue approved. It is working pretty darn well. If you are dry, will you like this? I honestly don't know. I'm not dry. <laughs> but I think it does pick up on the dry patches quite a bit and that kind of annoys me. So if that annoys me and I don't have that much of dry skin, can't imagine someone who was dry and it was picking up. But yeah, this foundation, I think it's gonna really work for me and I'm excited to try it out some more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this review slash demo of the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. If you guys don't want me to do reviews, I don't have to, but if you guys want me to, I can definitely do some reviews on some items. I can definitely do some more if you guys want, if you guys don't want it. That's fine too, it's all good. I'm just doing it for you guys, just trying to come up with more ideas for you guys. So if you guys like that, great, if not, that's that's fine. I, I don't I don't have to I don't have to do anything. That's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye you guys. Mwah. Where's the beauty blender? You had to put me and Patrick behind me because they kept getting like all the focus is going on them and it's literally not even fair. They're not even animate. What is up guys? No. <laughs> I look so ugly right now, I'm so sorry. Mijin. Fucking pillows, stop, just stop focusing on them. So I'm gonna go up and finish the face, and... Uh, fucking fly, get off me. Sadly, I have to go after this. I can't fucking wear it for a good 12 hours. Mind you, was I really gonna wear this foundation for 12 hours? Who fucking knows? But yeah, that's it for the vi- Fuck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mm-hmm.